Bettina Tito has been processing fish for the past 24 years. From originally spreading sardines on the ground to dry, she now uses advanced fish smokers. Bettina says that learning innovative processing techniques and some capital injection has helped her business grow. We used to buy 10 kilograms of sardines, but after drying, they would shrink down to just 5 kilograms, limiting my processing capacity to only 10 kilograms. Now I can process between 300 and 500 kilograms of sardines, and I have the clients to support this growth. At this gathering of blue economy experts, the Tanzanian government is calling for increased partnerships between local and foreign investors to help business people like Bettina expand their fisheries businesses. We have a favorable investment policy in the country with harmonized laws and flexible regulations that can be adjusted by the minister to meet one's investment needs. There is also in existence a hassle-free tax system and we are continuing to streamline other areas to ensure investors can make a profit when they invest here. The Tanzanian government believes the country's coastal resources are of immense strategic importance to the growth of the economy. 230,000 individuals are supported directly by the country's fisheries sector, with 6 million more benefiting indirectly from associated businesses. Tanzania has about 1,424 kilometers of coastline, several large lakes and numerous rivers. The government is hoping that it can tap into the potential of its water bodies to grow the economy and benefit ordinary citizens in the process. The government says that last year the fisheries sector was almost 2% of the country's GDP, generating around $1 billion. But that is a relatively small figure compared to other sectors such as agriculture and mining. The government now believes that with increased capital, fishermen could help the sector grow even further. We have spoken to banks and have directed them to examine their policies and how they work that they should give priority to those in small-scale fishing to do away with bureaucracy, which often discourages them. Organizers of this forum say knowledge sharing and increased investments could be the key to helping the East African region increase its participation in the global $2 trillion blue economy. They hope that this will ultimately bring about increased food security and improved livelihoods for millions in the region. Isaac Lukando, CGTN, Dar es Salaam.